I should be dead and not making this video. This is not clickbait. We have no water again at Bon Air, our 43 acre, 220 year old farm. I'm getting sick and tired of this well water. The pump, submersible pump, Grundfoss, $1,500, top of the line German made pump. It's not working. Uh, now I did install quick disconnect. I'm gonna see if the fuses are bad. If you remember from my other video, I installed all this cool stuff so I could disconnect the submersible pump quickly. And I went ahead and installed this quick disconnect switch. Now the only thing I did was this is the kind with internal fuses inside. Probably should have gotten just a disconnect switch without fuses. I killed the power to the switch, so don't worry. But <sighs> these are the fuses that I have right here, see? I gotta make sure that all this is tight, nice and tight. But, I don't need to pull this out. I can just check the damn fuse. Look at that. It's good. It's good. Oh, crap. Man, that means something's going on with the damn pump. This is a good pump. What the hell? Got my tools going down into the pit. Find out what's wrong with this thing. Oh, I'm getting so tired of working on this thing, guys. It's just making me kind of sick. Mm -hmm, looks good. Okay, first things first. I thought this was gonna work. Yeah, I thought it was gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm gonna put this landscape timber over here. So I got the left. Hey, it's a bullfrog! That's where you've been hiding, huh? There we go. Alright. Alrighty. Take this to the shop and uh, let's see what the part is going on. Up the hill, over the river, through the woods. Go past the barn that fell down because they didn't take care of it. We've only owned this place for a year, guys, so don't blame me for all the crap around here yet. I can only do so much. It's just my wife and I restoring this old place. So uh, follow us on our journey here at Restoring Bonaire, an 1812 house. There's my infomercial. <laughs> Turn on the breaker, see if we have power.
We have power. Houston, we have power. Damn. I mean, it's good. It's a $1,500 pump, but still. You know what I should have done? And by the way, any smart-ass comments, I'll delete. So, I'm not in the mood. What I should have done first, I should have checked the voltage. I checked with my little handy-dandy gauge, this thing that beeps. You know, this, right? And I had voltage. But... Did I have 230 volts? Now I have to go down, hook it up, and figure out how much voltage I have coming into that quick disconnect box. Now it's not working. Have I got voltage? I think it's it's the impellers getting locked up. I swear I do. See, it gets locked up. You know what that means? It means I'm going to have to take this thing apart. See why it's getting locked up. Yep, that always happens. That always happens. That's why I put together a video on how to reassemble these things. So the question is, do I get another pump or do I try to rebuild this one? But right now, I have no water. This was the culprit. I had to restack all of the impeller cartridges. They were stuck. Um, but the unfortunate thing is it did not kick the breaker. So the motor may have been compromised. Ain't that special. So now I've got a, I tested it out. It does hum, it works, it spins. Now let's see if we can't uh, Turn off the air compressor. Go back down. And, uh... Fix this thing. 7.30 this morning I started on this. I did this. We had an issue on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And it wasn't the pump, which I took all apart for nothing. It was the pre-filter. So now we're going back. Ah, wrong gloves. These gloves stay here. So let's throw them back the door. Oh, I am just over this. It's not how I wanted to spend my day. We're an hour from anything. I mean, we're an hour from any kind of... Uh, store that's going to have a submersible pump and if any of you guys know they ain't cheap let's put this back together and see if we have any water let's go through the bamboo forest through the bamboo force and then the Lincoln Tunnel. For those of you 
who are elf fans with Bill Farrell, you will remember the modified version, the real line. And let's go down here without falling into the cistern and taking a swim. At least it's 10 degrees warmer than it was this morning in the 30s. And this is where I take the gloves off. This is where we take the gloves off. Yeah. Okay, hook it back up. Okay, here we go with the quick coupler. Union fitting. I don't know why they don't call it Confederate fitting. That was a joke. That's all I need to do is lose that. It's working, but I was in here fricking with the wires. And it's running, which means this has power. Oh, fart. Which means... Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I could have been dead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is alive. Have you ever had one of those moments where, after the fact, you realize that you had an angel over top of you? Yeah, I just did. I was working, as you know, down here, in the cistern, on the quick disconnect box, I went to the cottage to turn off the breaker, and I turned off the old breaker. So the whole time I was working here, I was working with live voltage in a pit of water. Don't tell me that God doesn't give us angels for dumbass people like me. Now let's see if I have water. Yes, we have water and I'm still alive. Ha, not today, not today, Satan. Ah, uh, you didn't get me. I'm still here. Thank you, God. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe to follow our journey.